So what I want to talk to you about on uh, today's episode of The Complete Advisor, uh, mm-hmm. surprise, we already started. I was just curious about where you, your background, but we've already started. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I did want to talk to you is you do TV. And um, your TV segments, uh, you've got, I'm looking at them here on your website. They are fantastic. I got to uh, watch a lot of them. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you decided to do that and your experience. Um, I decided to do that because I wanted um, just to reach out to other people, uh, let them know what, first of all, that I had to offer Mm -hmm. and help them because so many people think they don't need a plan in retirement. They just retire. They've saved a lot of money. They've worked very hard all their lives, but they're not sure how to handle it when they, or if their income is going to be enough, Mm -hmm. or how do I get more income? So that was sort of the message I wanted to take out. And ABC had approached me that I think I wanted to do this. And at first I said no. But then after I thought about it, I thought, you know, what's the harm in trying? Sure. And again, it was one more thing that I just took that step. And um, ABC has been great for with me. And um, just got on and started doing a show called Good Day PA mm-hmm. once a month. Right yeah, once a month I did that. And my experience has been awesome with them. I just I love it, and uh, we just keep on planning. Now we're oh. planning for 2023. How did uh, so? You said they found you. How'd they find you? You know, I don't know. I'm sure they have their ways of finding businesses out there, small mm-hmm. businesses and what have you. But I had a gal call me, and she came into the office, and we sat and talked. In fact, I had a couple stations come in and talk with me and I just really felt good about the plan that she came up with for me Mm -hmm. after she came in and interviewed me and really learned about me and my business and my clients and I felt really comfortable that she did her job on the back end before she even came to me. That's you know that's fascinating because a lot of uh, so we've done some work uh, we've done work with advisors and getting them on to television but this is a little bit of a this is a little bit of a reverse they came uh, looking for you mm-hmm yes she did yeah she did do you think that they came uh, so you do seminars do you think that they came uh, and saw you there and maybe vetted you uh, I don't recall that she was there she may have seen me on um, like on my website or something I'm not sure if I even know the answer of how she found me but um, you know, she contacted me by phone first yeah. and asked if she could set up a time to come visit with me and That's, then really tried to learn more about me and what I do and how I felt about my clients and the office and that type of thing. Yeah, that, the ultimate referral. Yeah, for sure. So you're on, uh, you're on once a month. Yes. And do they, so you act, so this is really different because you're not having to, since they came and got you, mm-hmm. um, this is a, is this a freebie then? or No. No, I pay. I also run quite a few commercials with them on top of the Good Day PA. So, but no, I I pay for that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So what kind of of response are you able to, uh, so I know that one of the challenges is the ability to um, kind of track clients back. Are you able to do that at all? Well, yeah, because when somebody new calls us, we say, you know, where did you hear about us? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because when I first went on TV, they said, now don't be disappointed. It's going to take you about a year Mm -hmm. because this is a branding, you know. And so I accepted that, and I had my mindset that after the first time I was on Good Day, I got back to, before I got back to the office, I had a couple people already call and that they wanted to come in and see me, which was awesome. Yeah. And um, so that happens occasionally, you know, like two or three people may call before I get back to the office wanting what I offered on on the uh, ABC, or uh, on the Good Day PA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it, do you get a lot, uh, so you do, you do dinner seminars, right? I do, yeah. Okay. Do you, do you get a lot, I mean, the, the street cred right off that when you're introducing yourself and right. saying, you know, you'll, you may have seen me on, mm-hmm. if I look familiar, maybe. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, you do autographs on apps. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on apps, you're right. <laughs> um, but so the, that, that credibility has got to be fantastic. It is, and it's really cool because I was at, uh, a major store shopping one day for clothing, you know, mm-hmm. just in a clothing store. And I had a lady come over and she turned her head to me. She says, you're June. I said, I am. Do, should I know you? Oh, no, I saw you on TV. 
And about three weeks ago, my husband and I were out to dinner, and a lady was sitting sort of out here. I was behind there on a table, and she kept looking back at me, and I thought, I don't know her. And she turned around, and she says, I know you. I saw you on TV. So when you see that kind of response, Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. it's working. So, I'm sorry, and when did you start doing it? It's... um, I, a year ago, November. So I've been doing it since November of 2021. Oh gosh! And I've done it every month since then. Nice. Yeah. Do you? Uh, so do you see yourself continuing to do it? Absolutely. I have a meeting as soon as I get back home. I have a meeting with the uh, the gal. Two people are coming over, and we're going to set up our our schedule for 2023. Oh, that's neat. So yeah. do you? Do are you? Are you setting up the? Are you setting up the topics or yeah, are they? I, yeah, I give them the topics. Like about two weeks before I go on Good Day, I'll send them bullet points that I want to talk about. And then they, they ask me questions about that, and that's how we go about it. And that's a Good Day. So I'm assuming that's like a morning show, right? Like, it is. It comes on at 10, and then they re- redo it again in the evening. Um, and then a couple of times a year, I think it's every quarter, I do one in the evening as well. And I'm the only financial planner on that. That whole it's a whole hour that they do, mm-hmm. and then they give me a segment for my financial planning. I have one coming up with that in December. I pre-tape those, so mm-hmm. yeah, the time looks great. It looks like you get a nice chunk of time here because mm-hmm. I'm looking at four minutes, three, yeah, three. Four minutes is usually about right around where I get. That is fantastic. Yeah. And the topics, I mean, these are great topics, uh, retirement planning basics, mm-hmm. guidance on the SECURE Act, mm-hmm. uh, women's financial literacy, very important, mm-hmm. um, life changes in retirement, that's a big one we mm-hmm. always forget, and the health check. I mean, there, is, there is fascinating topics mm-hmm. here. So what, would you, what advice would you give to anybody that was pondering doing television? I would say try it and um, just if you're going out looking for a station to work on, just have them come to your office, maybe interview them and see how, are they how interested they are in learning your mm-hmm. company and learning you and learning about your clients. Because with that, you can work as a team with that person to make things run very well. Yeah. Are you able to, out of, I, I, you've got them on your site, uh, which great website, by the way. Um, that's not your dog, is it? Or is that just a... The dog, you mean the... the uh, looks like a pug. Oh, the pug? Yeah. Got you. Got you right there. Oh, no, that's not my pug. No, that's, <laughs> no that was just stock, probably. S- stunt pug? Yeah. Um, so do they let you take those and uh, put them out on YouTube as well? Or We could. We haven't done that, but we should. Yes, we can use them any place we want to use them. Yeah. I mean, they look they look great on the site. Mm-hmm. So, what are the uh, what are, any big topics that you're thinking about for 2022, 23? Well, right now, when I get back, I have to work on my November and December. Um, November, I'm probably going to talk about RMDs and the importance mm-hmm. of making sure we get those out for them. Uh, December, we're going to do something more with more heart, more emotion. Oh, Christmassy. Uh, yeah, kinda. for Christmassy. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like yet, but yeah. Um, also, in Chris, in the December, we do a lot of charitable giving. Uh, we give, we like to give back, and um, like last year, we did the food bank. ABC even came out and filmed my team doing working at the food bank. Food bank, I'm sorry. And then we did a Christmas party at the uh, a Bethesda Mission, which is a women and children's mission, mm-hmm. homeless people. And my husband was Santa, so we did a Christmas party that night, gave bunches of stuff to them that they needed. And so, and ABC came and filmed that for me, too. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. So, really, we, I have a great working relationship with them. Are you able to mention, um, are you able to mention seminars while you're on the show? Or yeah. Really? Yeah, I can mention. In fact, we're doing, I don't know if you're familiar with that Baby Boomer Dilemma, Dilemma. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing our 10th one on Monday, or Thursday night when I get home. And we advertised those right on there. And again, people were calling from the station before I got back to attend that. So yeah, anything like that, I'm allowed to um, promote. As long as I'm compliant, I can do whatever. Yeah. yeah, they're not, they don't restrict me. That's a great movie. Yeah, it is awesome. We have done wonderful with that. We have 80 coming on Thursday night. Really? All right, so you're, you're running a theater? We did. We this did that. This is the 10th time we've done it, and it's been just really wonderful for us. It is a neat experience. We, um, uh, I got to do the, I think, the Colorado launch of the movie, and we did a, 
We did a remote from there. Oh, did you? Yeah, okay. we had a lot of people. We had uh-huh. the popcorn. And, yep, and the soda. Uh, Yep, the soda. We had the filmmaker out. Um, oh, good. I can't. I, no, off the top. Doug. Of Doug. Yes, yes. Yes. Doug Orchard, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we got to we got to sit down and take some questions with him from the audience and. Good. Um, but that is that is a good way to boy and some of the names that are in there. Oh wow, I know. But yeah. good info. Really Very good, good info. info. Yes, and everybody always compliments that it's just so nice to be able to come and sit and relax and watch mm-hmm. the movie mm-hmm. and not be pressured. So that yeah. we feel really good about that. That was, you know, that was one of the things that was a little weird. So standing in, um, because when I was a kid, a movie theater you, was just this chair that you sat, right? right? And so the, the one that we were at was a, you know, brand new theater where it had like the, Reclining. you could lean back in that. Yeah, we had a couple of those. Yeah, so all I, all I could see from the front when I was up with the advisor and, and Doug and we were taking, you know, we were looking at the audience, mm-hmm. all you could see was kind of like feet and the top <laughs> of the head. Yeah, that's so right. So I think there's people out there. But, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it does get a lot of attention. Yeah, and it, was, has, it has been awesome, it really. Mm-hmm. And it's, I feel good because because I feel like I'm getting good information out to a lot of people mm-hmm. that maybe they would have not known had they not come. I I think that I think that uh, I think that movie does a good job of putting those topics out there they should in does. a different in a in a you know we're used to we're used to getting that information either from a kind of a lecture hall mm-hmm. or uh, but to put it into a documentary style narrative. Uh, it does it does hit you a little yeah. differently and makes you sit up and take notice. Sure does. Yeah, uh, Doug did a great job with that movie. Well. So June, what's uh, what are the big challenges? What are you looking forward to here this fall and into the new year? Well, just seeing clients, getting the information out for them, helping people um, have confidence in their retirement and uh, living out the life that they want in mm-hmm. retirement. And then also creating a legacy for their children. Yeah. That's, that's a big issue with a lot of folks. This podcast is for financial professional use only and not for use with the general public. The information provided is the exclusive property of Creative One and is protected by copyright and other intellectual property laws of the United States. This material has been prepared for informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended to provide, and should not be relied upon for, accounting, legal, tax or investment advice. Creative One is not responsible for the results of programs discussed on this podcast or any liability stemming from the use of it. Although we may promote or recommend the services offered by this company, agents are ultimately responsible for the use of any materials or services and agree to comply with the compliance requirements of their broker dealer and registered investment advisor, if applicable, and the insurance carriers they represent. Copyright 2022, Creative One Marketing Corporation.